Hey guys, welcome to part two in the um, over under higher lower guessing game. And we'll just continue right where we left off. So the last thing we did was we created a top J panel and we set the layout to be one row and four columns. Now we're gonna add our labels um, to our thingy. So first label, and it's gonna be a new J label, and then inside here we're gonna put a blank. You have to put these um two empty quotes or else it's gonna give an error because it expects a string, so just put an empty string and it won't affect it at all. And then put plus and then what do we want to display in here? Well we want to display the first rand. Because when we spawn the game, load the game I guess, we want the user to already have a number to guess off of higher or lower. So we just put first rand. So that way they're like, oh, what number should I guess? They already have one, so maybe it's like five. Well, is the next one going to be higher or lower? Well, it's probably going to be higher. It's 75% chance it's higher because it's out of 20. So, um, that's why you want to put first rand just in the first label. The next ones we're not going to put like sec uh, rand two or rand three. And then we want swing constants center, and all that does is center it inside of its grid, so it looks a lot neater. And then first label set font and we want that to be the font and then we'll just top add first label and what that does is it adds the first label to the top panel it doesn't if you were to just type in add first label it would add it I think to the pane and it would get really messed up and yeah your program would be a mess so make sure you type in top dot add and you're adding it to the top panel so that's going to be in the first um, column yeah alright so now do the same thing for the second label, third label, and fourth label. So I'm just gonna copy and paste, I'm not gonna talk much here. So second, third, fourth, alright. Remember you gotta delete these uh plus operator here, you don't because you don't want to display the first rand anymore. So delete that. Fix that a little bit. Comma in and what the hell? All right, there we go. Ugh. All right, now I'll just fix this. So second label, and it's a new J label. Second label, second. Alright, there we go. Make sure you get that just right like that. And don't remember to d remember to delete these uh, this first ran thing here because we don't want to display the first ran in all of them. Or it'll just look really dumb. Because it'd be the same number. And then after we add the fourth label, we want to add the top panel to our pane. So pane dot add top. There we go. And there we go. Now Put another comment, middle panel setup. And now, we're not adding labels, we're adding um, the button, the uh, or label, and the other button that says lower. So, another J panel, call it um, middle. It's going to be a new J panel. And then set this layout to 1 3. There we go, because we're only having three components and we want it left to right, so um yeah, you'll see. Alright, and then <coughs> our higher, it's gonna be a new J button. And uh it's gonna say higher and I'll just put it in all uppercase like that. And then middle dot add higher. Now we want our or label. So that's going to be a J label, obviously. It's going to be new. Uh, label. <coughs> Inside of this is going to say OR. And then comma, and we want that to be centered, so swing constants, center. And middle dot add OR. Now we want our lower um, button. Uh, 
Alright. Perfect. Now add the middle pane. Or middle panel to the pane. What? Mod. Middle. There we go. Down a couple. Alright. Okay, now, just kind of go in order here, and uh, so we don't get too lost, we're just going to add the action listeners right now, instead of jumping down to the um, bottom panel, but then we'll resume. So, just add the action listeners. This uh, class is just going to be called event, because basically that's what it is. It's event, and E, and it's a new event, and then just add action listeners to both your buttons, so higher. Oh, action center, and then lower. All right, now we're done with that. Now all we need to do is the bottom panel. So simplest one, bottom panel. Uh, that's gonna be a panel. Whoa, why'd I call it panel? Bottom. And this is messed up. <laughs> Alright. And then set the layout. So bottom. Set layout. And she's a grid layout. Again. Let's do 1 1 this time. Because we're setting one object. I guess you could use flow layout also, but nah, I just prefer a grid layout. And then. Now we're using a win or a lose. Label so win or lose. Uh, it's gonna be a new J label. And at first, it's not gonna say anything. It will later. And just give it the center attribute. Win or lose. Um, set font font. And then add your add your win or lose to your bottom panel. So bottom add win or lose and then add your bottom panel to your pane alright now finally we're done with the layout um, and just adding it so if you ran it now which you couldn't because we don't have a main method but if you ran it now um, you could all you could do was one number would show up a menu and you could either click higher or lower and nothing would happen it'd be fairly pointless so yeah, but we'll fix that now. <coughs> so we got your find where constructor ends. Go out of that. Excuse me. <laughs> go out of that, and then uh, make your event class. And this is gonna be the longest action performed um, method. When I wrote this, I think it was like somewhere around 50 to 60 lines, maybe 70 lines. So. It's a lot, but a lot of it just repeats itself, so you can copy it. So, public class event implements the center like normal, nothing new here. Then you gotta use your normal action perform method. Again, nothing new there. And the first thing we want to do is get a string, and we'll call it option. And that's gonna be equal to a, or excuse me, e, and then get action command. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna let um, our program um, differentiate, 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 whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? Differentiate, whatever, between which buttons they clicked. If they either click the higher, or if they click the lower button. So this is what our string option is gonna be able to um, uh, let our program tell. So. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I got time for a little bit more. So, <sighs> let's see. Now we'll just start on the actual logic of the program. So, if round is equal to one, which it is, because we initialize it to be one globally, so it's always going to be one when we start the program. So, if round equals one, well, then we want to make a ra another random number. Stop it. Sorry, I'm a dumb cat scratching my uh, chair. All right, so ran two. <coughs> that's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be an int, and it's gonna be a math dot math dot random, 
and it's going to be by 20 and plus 1. And yeah, uh, I'll resume in, uh, in the next video. So just watch part 3 to see what happens next.